Maxi got Maxi. Demar got traded. We going into the free agency. Mikey, we told media, let's get to the NBA. You know, football gonna be stupid, ridiculous. I, I don't think you can do that on one channel, but we'll hit the highlights like I'll do it here for the NBA just a little bit. Atlanta Hawks, what did they do? Dyson Daniels added EJ Liddell, Lance New Larry Nance Jr., Goldie Zeller. They got some size. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but they're they're on a rebuilding phase. They look like they're at least we, we will be good defensively. They could surprise. But I don't think there's any playoffs. What about Boston resigning everybody? Almost resigning everybody. Congrats to them, and then adding another shooter in the draft. Lord have mercy. Brooklyn Nets. How about Nick Claxton coming back? Treden Watford returns. Okay, and the additions: Bojan Bonjanovic, Mami Diakti, and Shake Milton. Departures, Mikael Bridges, Kate Bates, Dia. Remember, they got some scores on this team already. Uh, they, they, they'll they be solid. I don't think there's playoffs in the picture. They're losing. Mikael was a lot, but we'll see. Miles Bridges, God damn you. God damn, Miles. Want you to go to the Clippers. He resigns with the Hornets. I don't know why. Josh Green stays there. Reggie Jackson comes over. Bertans leaves. Bruce McGrowan's. Alex Pokovetsky is interesting. Clippers, think about it. Miles, why? I don't know why, Miles. Why, 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 why? Chicago, Patrick Williams returns. Okay, all right. They resign him. That's solid. Uh, supposed to be actually more of a uh, borderline uh, star on the squad. We'll see what he can do. Chris Duarte, Josh Giddy for the point guard position. Jalen Smith comes in. They lose Caruso, Drummond. Uh, and, and Dorenzen. However, they added uh, Matt Bozellis, my one of my uh, my top guy f in the draft, in my opinion. Lithuanian star is going to be given breathing room to get going, so he's going to he, he's going to be able to get loose. Watch out for him as rookie of the year. Donovan Mitchell agrees to extend with Cleveland. Not much moving there. Not sure they need too much. They can add G League prospects and make themselves better. They got all the pieces. Uh, Mavericks, Quentin Grimes, Najee Marshall, Clay Thompson. Big moves for them, but they lost. Hardaway Jr., Jones Jr. was big for me, and then Josh Green as well. They added some pieces to replace. I think the 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 additions are better than the subtractions, but uh, we shall see. I think Derrick Jones Jr. is really a hard hit for them defensively, athletically. I, I, they can go get something in the G League, though. They can go get an athletic freak. There's several in the Denver Nuggets. What about Dario Saric? Two-year deal. Caldwell Pope, Reggie Jackson leaving. Bigger issue than you think. Denver Nuggets. Let's see who they add to a replace that. Detroit Pistons, Kay Cunningham, Simone Fontenci, resign. Additions, Beasley, Hardaway, Jr., Harris, Moore, Reed, Quentin Grimes, and Wiseman. Wiseman was a big lead. I don't know why he left, but hey, they added Paul Reed to replace him. They got older, more wiser. Should make some noise this year. They got Durant in the middle. Should make some noise in the Thompson, one of the Thompson twins. Golden State Warriors, Kyle Anderson, Buddy Hill, DeAnthony Melton signed with Lindy Waters to Golden State. Chris Paul, God, should have. I think he should have went to a real team, but hey, he decided to go to the Spurs, uh, and, and they're just solid. So I think he's looking for a coaching position. Maybe they offered him that. Dyer Sarek is there. Clay Thompson leaves, obviously. Uh, did they get better? They got more depth, and I think they already got a lot of depth. They got more depth, more options. Um, not bad for the for the Warriors. Not bad at all. Houston Rockets, Aaron Holiday comes back. A.J. Griffin is added. We'll see what they do. Again, solid team. They'll make more noise this year because they're more cohesive and they know each other better. How about in the end? I think the best moves made here. Added another big that's better than the big that left. James Wiseman added Siakam retained. Obi Toppin retained for a year. Very nice. What did he get? What did Obi Toppin get? Let me just see. They ain't lowball you, did you, dog? Did they, did they give you a nice little ink, brother? Let's see. Six, 70 million, what'd they give you? They ain't, they ain't put the number. I just, I just want to see something, bro. I'm in your pockets, baby. I'm in your pockets. It's your boy, Mike. I'm in your pockets. Where you at? Where you at? Okay, what's the new deal? God darn, I got to go like 10 pages to get the goddamn new deal? What is it? Oh, man, it, it may not be a lot. It may not be a lot. Don't let them do you like that, boy. Don't let them do that, like that, OB. Don't let them do you like that, big dog. All right, let's keep going down. LA Clippers, James Harden returns. Mo Bama, one-year deal. Nick Batum, uh, Derrick Jones Jr. added. Very nice moves for the LA Clippers. I think they did themselves a solid on this. I wish that uh, your boy was retained, as in Miles Bridges. Uh, man, that have been fucking great. That would have been fucking great. 
Uh, but they don't get that. I think Batum may have deterred him. Like he's too many forwards on this team. Los Angeles Clippers get Max Christie, LeBron James on a two-year, no real important additions, and they need it. Uh, so we'll see what happens there with LeBron. It's gonna be a tough year for them, but they probably get in the same position. Grizzlies did nothing. Miami resigns almost everybody. And Alex Burks added a good shooting guard vet that can do it all. The big uh, losing factors here is Caleb Martin defensively, but he wasn't playing much at the end of the season. But Caleb Martin being gone, that's a big one. Milwaukee, nothing doing, okay? Nothing doing except the addition of Torian Prince and DeLon Wright. Hey, Torian Prince is added. He can do it all. Safety net for Chris Middleton. Watch out for Milwaukee, slowly but surely making things happen. Luke Garza's added, P.J. Dozier, Joe Ingles, Minnesota, trying to make a comeback, but they lost a lot in Kyle Anderson. Does Joe Ingles come back pre-knee injury is the question mark. If he does, then they have something going. But as for now, solid move. New Orleans, DeJounte Murray, Daniel Tice, big leaper, left Clippers. Clippers really, I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Dice, they lost a lot here. They lost a lot. Uh, Jonas, wow. They, I, I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know what New Orleans is doing here. They lost a lot, but they got DeJounte, so they got a number two. So we'll see how that plays out, uh, and we'll see if Ingram stays. And they, they possibly have a fake-ass big three, I hate to say it, in New Orleans if they can get Murray, Ingram, and uh, Zion together. New York Knicks, what about OG, big contract, 200. They put a salary on that one. Additions, Mikael Bridges, they're the ones to watch. Big move, start spreading the news. I want to hear about New York, New York. New York is winning right now. The team to watch defensively, they should be very at the top of the heat. Offensively, I'm still question mark, but defensively, they're scary all around. Oklahoma City, Isaiah Joe, Aaron Wiggins added. Solid. Caruso added. Solid. Isaiah Hartenstein added. Solid. Solid. I think they replaced Giddy and Waters here. Okay? They did pretty good here. Orlando Magic. They signed back a lot. Uh, and they got some vets in there for the bench. Um, looks good. Not sure what they're doing, though. Gary Harris and Contavious Caldwell Pope. Got to choose one, man. There's not enough balls to go around. Uh, how about your boys down in Philadelphia? Maxi Oubre brought back in. And they added George, Gordon, Caleb, and Drummond. The, if not, I would say the Sixers are one up on the next, on the additions. Tremendous offseason for the Sixers. And your boy does it again at the whatever GM position. I forgot his name, but he always finds a way to add a lot of pieces. And I think he's done well here. All right. How about uh, Phoenix Suns? Bo Bo comes on in a one year. Damian Lee, Royce O'Neal. Uh, Drew Eubanks, Chris, Eric Gordon guy. We'll see how that plays out if they give Bo Bo some minutes. Uh, Portland Trailblazers, really nothing there except getting Denny Avija from the Wizards, which is pretty good. Malcolm Brogdon departs to the Wizards. Wizards added some nice pieces. We'll see them in a minute. Alex Yen returns on a one-year deal. Malik Monk returns. Dorenzen added and Jalen McDaniels to the Sacramento Kings. I don't know what the hell they're doing with that squad, but we'll see how it plays out. I just don't think it gets them anywhere with adding Dorenzen to that team. Uh, maybe a couple extra games, and that will get you a playoff run. Let's keep going. And that first, that's a first-round exit, in my opinion. San Antonio Spurs, just Chris Paul and Harrison Barnes. Very, very good deal for the Spurs. Now that you look at it in big picture, they've added some solid pieces around Wemby with some vet experience. They have a lot of pieces there. Watch out for San Antonio as a sleeper. Watch out for San Antonio. Now, they lost some scoring. Um, with Devontae uh, Brand, uh, Graham, who goes back uh, to the Hornets. Okay, they're trying to build the old, old team again. Scotty Barnes, five-year menu quickly. Gary Temple, there goes Toronto, trying to get it done. And in additions is Davion Mitchell and Sasha Vezevic. They got Davion as the point guard of the future. Really like what he brings to the table for that squad. Utah Jazz, Eubanks, uh-oh, two-year. Chris Dunn leaves. Omar Irvestein waved. Uh, not much to write home about Utah. Mar marketing is still out there, I believe, on a trade. So we'll see what happens there. Washington, Rashawn Holmes, big leaper, comes back. Malcolm Brogdon added. Val Valanciunas added. Not bad for this team. Landry Shemet is waved. Who picks him up? Very interesting place for these free agents and rookies, as well as G-leaguers, some Euro guys. There is opportunity for, for to fill in the bench. I think a lot of help is needed. But as for down. The winners of 
the offseason. Let's just call it what it is. Sixers and the Knicks, my clear top two. And they're on the East Coast. The West Coast, sorry, Sacramento. I just don't know what you're doing. I'm out of here. Peace.